Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about this perfect cell team for just a little bit, um, and I also want to talk about Ultra Gohan a little bit because obviously Ultra Gohan's come out, and yeah, he's a pain. Uh, he's a real menace in PvP. Uh, obviously, as people predicted. Uh, but he, he really is uh, quite irritating, especially you know, with his whole mechanic about being um, the last unit, you know, depending on how many battle members remaining. Uh, he he really is um, really just an absolute force to be reckoned with. Now, of course, you know, it's not to say that he's unbeatable, uh, but the best strategy for Gohan is actually to somehow get him out before you defeat the rest of the team because the key dampening like the key recovery reduction and just everything he does is is very very overwhelming uh, and it kind of like completely ruins your matchup but yeah um but we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, just now yep i wanted to try out a team like this uh, whereby because cell for me is a character that I think in the history of DB Legends has probably not been treated well. I think in the history of both Dragon Ball Z mobile games uh, or Dragon Ball mobile games, whatever, I don't think Cell has been well utilized at all. Um, he doesn't have an Ultra at all. Broly's got one, Goku Black's got one, Hit's got one, but Frieza and Cell don't have one. I mean, Janemba's got one. Uh, he, yeah, he doesn't have like an ultra uh, I think every one of his legends limited has been okay um, I don't want to say that they've been bad but I can't recall any of them being particularly good uh, he's got some he's had moments where he's been good but then it's felt like he's been immediately counted uh, so just yeah I mean even you know the purple perfect cell that's like just come out that legends limited one I don't see him. Like, he's just not anywhere in the meta. Um, so, definitely Cell feels like a bit of a disrespected character. Um, at least to me. With that being said, he's not disrespected to the point of being unusable. He's kind of like... Um, always in the second tier of usable units, it feels like. Like, oh, the Cell's not bad. Uh, kind of feels like the statement that a lot of people will say. All in all, um, all three of these cells that I'm using right now, um, I actually genuinely feel are very decent. Uh, a lot of people know about the yellow uh, powerful opponent Zenkai cell. Uh, he's very, very good. He's been quite popular on the scene for a while uh, as like a secondary reserve option. Plus the yellow powerful opponent boost is pretty good. So that all meshed really well for him. Uh, and then the red assist cell, so the legends assist cell, very good as well actually, um, surprisingly nice, like a very good unit, uh, very solid as well, I think in general terms, um, like you know, very solid, very productive, uh, just very good, like a very 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 good unit, um, obviously you know, a 3 star like mine, maybe a little bit too low on the stats, being a legends assist, but still pretty decent. And then uh, Red Cell. So Red Revive Cell that we just kind of got updated. Uh, a good blast damage dealer. So overall, actually, it's not a bad team. This uh, Yellow Cell really really gives us some good uh, kind of cover change break with his ability to intercept and kind of prevent all damage. Red Cell gives us a revive and some really, really nice uh, blast damage as well. And then we also have this Legends Limited Assist, or sorry, this Legends Assist cell, uh, who's pretty solid. Uh, like I said, he, he uh, is actually somewhat surprisingly good. Very, very nice unit uh, with a very interesting kit design. Of course, yeah, um, there is kind of, yeah, I think for me, we definitely lack a premier cell. Like I said, it's not to say that Cell's been terrible his whole time, uh, but I think I definitely find that he hasn't been as good as other people or other characters 
have been in Legends. Uh, I tend to find that he has always been in this kind of B tier uh, of characters. And yeah, maybe I'm maybe I've been misusing him. Maybe I just haven't been there for his ascendancy. Uh, but there's been times when cells come out, and even when he's looked really good, uh, he's just ended up being okay. Uh, so it's definitely a bit of a strange situation, I think. Like for me, it's definitely a bit of a strange situation for you know these characters uh, or cell in general, because I think he's one of the top villains from Dragon Ball. But he's just never ended up having a, a really dominant force of a unit. Maybe that'll change. Uh, I think what's really cool though is because of that they do give some really nice um, like I think we have two red Zenkai boost cells already uh, so they do tend to layer them up quite nicely uh, and you know like people complain because we have two legends limited purple cells but um, you know both of them benefit from any Zenkai's so that's kind of cool. Uh, most cells tend to have solid stable kits um, with all a in somewhat interesting gimmick or something usable so yeah it's definitely like it's definitely that there is um, a good feel about cell but it's, I've just never really felt him be dominant um, which like I said could be me but I just think overall considering the popularity of the character uh, it definitely feels like cells lacking a little bit. Um, that's just me. But I mean, again, yeah, that's just how I feel. Talking about Ultra Gohan, uh, just again, you can see here what I meant by how leaving him last is an absolute travesty. Uh, like our key, like we're gonna spend key here. Um, or we're gonna take our pan, and we're gonna spend key and just lose like all our key pretty much instantly so you can see here if i had two moves and my key is gone like i have no key it comes back so slowly uh it's really a big disruption and yeah obviously yeah i could have played this better i definitely could have won this matchup um i don't think this person was the best player but it's just it just goes to show you how much of an issue it is when you really do get him down to that last you know when Ultra Gohan is that last character he just that damage is just very overwhelming uh, very good and yeah at the end of the day you know he's a very good character can Cell survive in this meta? Uh, I think so uh, I think I think for me personally Cell definitely can survive I think we'll definitely see a Zenkai for uh, Purple Legends Limited Cell as well